which Adam was slowly emerging from a relatively calm but cold winter. <laughs> I guess I was being too much of an optimist because we got slammed in March with three nor'easters, one each week. We had massive flooding, trees down, beach erosion, and just miserable weather around them. I'm reluctant to provide an optimistic <laughs> comment this time, but I truly believe spring is on its way. And let's keep our hopes up. Welcome to Chatham Today. I'm Huntley Harrison, together with Richard Garvin, to bring you another installment of Chatham Today, the show that brings you up to date with events and activities in the town of Chatham. In this show, we will provide you with all the information you need to take advantage of what's happening during the month of April. First off, because Easter is very early this year, the annual Easter egg hunt will take place on Saturday, March 31st at 11 a.m. The Easter Bunny's on his way to Kate Gould Park with treats for boys and girls with jelly beans and Easter eggs. Don't miss out on all the fun. Among the candy eggs hidden in the park, try to discover a prize egg and win an Easter basket filled with goodies. This event is sponsored by the Chatham Merchants Association with candy donated by the Chatham Candy Manor. The event will be canceled only if there is a major downpour. April at the Council on Aging is full of interesting activities. On Monday, the 2nd at 1 o'clock, come to the COA Cinema for Free Movie Monday. Three Billboards Outside Ebbing, Missouri is a fabulous film about a woman frustrated with the lack of progress by the local police in finding those responsible for the brutal murder of her daughter. She installs three billboards on the edge of town to go to the department into action in this gripping crime drama, starring Frances McDormand, Woody Harrelson, Sam Rockwell, Abby Cornish, John Hawks, Clark Peters, and Peter Dinklage. Space is limited and reservations are required. Transportation is available. Come at noon and enjoy a gourmet lunch for $7. Call the COA to reserve your spot. Excellent movie, too. Oh, gosh, yeah. Very, very good movie. Absolutely. Really enjoyable. Yeah. Yeah, Wednesday, April 4th is the first day trip of the month. You'll be going to Market Basket in Sagamore. Rated the best supermarket on Cape Cod for its selection, Market ba Basket prides itself on its no-zone pricing philosophy, which means the prices in New Hampshire and New Bedford will be exactly the same as those in the Sagamore store. The bus departs the COA at 8.30. Cafe and other purchases are at the cost of the shopper. Transportation is free and space is limited. Call to make your reservation now. Let's talk about your health care. It's your choice. This free presentation will take place on Monday, April 9th at 1 p.m. You will leave this informal discussion feeling empowered and knowledgeable about making a plan to receive the best possible care that honors your values and choices. The conversation will help you build on your plan as your health needs and care choices change throughout your life. Leading the discussion will be registered nurse Julie Tour, a trained facilitator from the VNA of Cape Cod. Reservations are required and transportation will be available. Call now to reserve your place. Well, that's, uh, health is always interesting. Yeah. I mean, you know. Especially, when, yeah. especially for us folks. Us folks, <laughs> right. Okay. Tax day is closing in quickly. Ugh. If you need help with your taxes, AARP Foundation Tax Preparation is available on Mondays and Wednesdays through April 11th from 8.30 to 2.30 at the Chatham Community Center. This help is available free to taxpayers with low and moderate income with special attention to those 60 and over, ensuring they receive applicable tax credits and deductions. AARP Foundation Tax Aid is offered in cooperation with the IRS. Stop by the Chatham COA to make an appointment and receive your intake packet. Wednesday, April 11th, is the monthly birthday celebration at 2. 
If you were born in the month of April and reside in Chatham, we hope you will join them at the COA for their monthly birthday celebration. Guests are encouraged. Call to register. Also, check your driver's license for its expiration date. You don't want to drive with an expired license. Here is a series of activities that you might find interesting. Free Artful Aging Art Classes, a four-class series, Tuesdays, April 17th, May 1st, May 8th, and May 22nd from 1045 to 1230. Absolutely no art experience is necessary. Oh, good. You will, <laughs> you will grow together in creating a wellness toolbox for artful aging using an art journal. This class combines art materials, music, movement, sound, poetry, humor, and meditation as tools for self-care and wellness. These tools reduce stress, get in touch with feelings, and give voice to the soul. Come join local artist Gail Tilton as we let our inner child out to play. This is sponsored by the Massachusetts Cultural Council and the Chatham Cultural Council. Reservations are required and space is limited. Call soon to reserve your place. The second day trip of the month is on the 18th and we'll go to Whole Foods. Seniors are invited to visit the Whole Foods store on Senior Day for cooking demonstrations and to enjoy free samplings from the menu of the day. The time frame for the trip is as follows. The COA bus will leave Chatham at 9 a.m. The event takes place from 10 to 11.30. The COA bus will then depart Whole Foods by noon and return directly to Chatham. Reservations are required and space is limited. So sign up soon. Another free movie Monday comes around on April 23rd at 1. Join them to watch Darkest Hour. This riveting historical drama depicts the early days of Winston Churchill's leadership of the United Kingdom during World War II, as he tries to rally the nation to action while many of his contemporaries advocate peace talks with Hitler. Academy Award winner Gary Oldman gives a towering performance. That's a quote, as Winston Churchill says Richard Lawson of Vanity Fair. In acclaimed director Joe Wright's soaring drama, darkest hour as, as Hitler's forces storm across the European landscape and close in on the United Kingdom. Winston Churchill is elected the new prime minister. With his party questioning his every move and King George VI, played by Ben Mendelsohn, skeptical of his new political leader, it is up to Churchill to lead his nation and protect them from the most dangerous threat ever seen. Darkest Hour is a powerful, inspirational drama also starring Academy Award nominee Kristen Scott Thomas and Lily James. Call now. These seats will go fast. Oh, and don't forget to come an hour early at noon to enjoy a gourmet lunch for only $7. Okay. You saw Darkest Hour. Yes, great. Yeah, isn't it great? Yeah. I'm, oh, yeah. To me, I, I can see why Gary Oldman won Best oh, Actor. Sure. I mean, he was Winston Churchill. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And you know what was interesting about it is, is the fact that as, as it went on, you really started believing that yeah. you were watching Winston yeah. Churchill yes. and the Ex whole thing yeah. unraveled. Ex exactly. You know, it, it's like a movie, I guess, with Jamie Foxx when he did Ray, the Ray movie. Charles. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. You know, you knew it was Jamie Foxx, but as the movie went on, you forgot it. Yeah. yeah. It was Ray Charles. It was Ray Charles. It was, yeah. it, I, I like performances yeah, that like was, that. that. That was a fabulous, fabulous movie. Okay. Well, a few minutes ago, Rich spoke to you about the art series. Now, for all you aspiring thespians out there, there will be a drama workshop series, The World's a Stage. Join them on Wednesdays from April 25th through May 30th from 1 to 2.30 for readings, plays, poetry, acting, and theatrics. No prior experience in theater required. Spread your wings and try something new and exciting. This class is led by Elsa Bastone, whose lifelong avocation has been theater. She is known for acting and directing many shows at the Chatham Drama Guild, Eventide Theater Company, the Jacob Sears Library, and appearances in several of the Monomoy Theater summer shows. Registration for these workshops is required. And last but not least, do-it-yourself terrariums. Back to the 70s. <laughs> <laughs> the workshop's on Monday, March 30th at 1 p.m. Join in and welcome spring. You will be creating lovely terrariums using a variety of materials. 
No experience is necessary. Just bring your creativity. Please contribute $2 toward the cost of materials which will be supplied. You will need to call and make a reservation for this workshop. And now for the events and activities at the Eldridge Public Library. Before we get into the April events, I want to remind you of the Spring Learning Series. This program of educational and general courses is open to the public at a cost of $15 per course. The series takes place Mondays through Fridays in the lower level of the library, unless otherwise noted. Contact the Learning Series Chairperson at learningseries at eldridgelibrary.org or call the library at 945-5170 for more information or questions. Now for the events in April. Mondays at 1030, Chatham Writers Group. Mondays at 1, drop-in story time for ages 3 through 5. And Fridays at 1030, Chatham Memoirs Group. And those are the ones that are ongoing. Continuing on Tuesday, April 3rd at 6.30, Reading in the Kitchen, a cookbook group. This month's selection is Everyday Italian by Giada De Laurentiis. Copies of the cookbooks are available at the library. Registration is required each month. Please contact Lorna Ziallo at 508-945-5170 or lziallo at clamsnet.org. On Saturday, April 7th at 2, the Book to Film Group. This month's selection is The Natural by Bernard Malamud. Oh, yeah, that's a good baseball movie. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's great. Great stuff. And Tuesday, April 10th at 7 p.m., William Nickerson's home site, Lost and Found, Ooh. excavations in Nick, uh, initiated by the Nickerson Family Association in 2016 resulted in the discovery of the original home site of William and Ann Nickerson in 2017. Learn about the search, the discovery, and the potential of this very significant piece of Chatham's history. This program will be presented by Craig Chartier, director of the Plymouth Rediscovery Project and lead archaeologist at the Nickerson Homestead Excavation. That sounds interesting. That does sound interesting. The Great Books Discussion Group meets on Tuesday, April 17th at 3. For information, please contact facilitator Rick Pike at 508-221-3240 or Rick Pike. Cape Cod at yahoo.com. Saturday, April 21st at 2, the Classic Film Group. This month's selection is Five Easy Pieces, 1970, directed by Robert Raffleson. Wasn't that the... Uh, Jack Nicholson was in that. Was that Jack Nicholson and, and uh, who else? I can't, well, I can't remember. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that was yeah. a good movie, too. Yeah. Bringing back the oldies. <laughs> <clears throat> And on Sunday, the 23rd at 3, Chatham Reads Poetry, 19th Annual Chatham Reads Poetry. Read your favorite poem or just come and listen. This popular Friends program features Chatham residents reading favorite poems. Each reader is limited to five minutes and selections must be uh, recognized published poets. Sign up at the front desk by April 12th or contact John Poignant at 774-810. 0610. Monday, April 23rd at 1.30 is the monthly meeting of the iPad Club. Open to all iPad and iPhone enthusiasts. Programs include occasional guest speakers, Apple News, basic instruction, interesting apps, tips and tricks, videos and questions and answers. And Tuesday, April 24th at 4 p.m., the Friends of the Eldridge Public Library Book Club will meet. This month's selection is Martha Jefferson Randolph, Daughter of Monticello, by Cynthia Kiner. For more information, please contact Linda Nixon at 508-945-2094. Now, that, that's an interesting subject because Jefferson's wife, Martha, died. Mm -hmm. So he had no quote unquote first lady. So his daughter filled in that slot. And it's really an interesting oh, story. Really? Yeah. Huh. About uh, how the, how it worked. Oh yeah. Okay. To close out the month, 
The library will present a nostalgic return to the golden age of radio. On Sunday, the 29th at 3 o'clock, WEPL will present the Cape Cod Theater of the Air in a unique staging of three radio plays from the golden age of radio. Two are thrillers by Lucille Fletcher, originally presented as radio plays in the 1940s. The Ghost Story, The Hitchhiker, written especially for Orson Welles and the Mercury Theater. And Sorry, Wrong Number, which Welles called the greatest single radio script ever written. The third, a reproduction of the broadcast that caused panic throughout the uh -huh. country in 1938. The Mercury Theater production of H.G. Wells' War of the Worlds. This nostalgic return to the golden age of radio is produced and directed by Elsa Bastone and will feature music by Ruth McKendry Treen, sound effects by Don Howell, and the performers include, in alphabetical order, Christopher Chestnut, Kathy Hamilton, Scott Hamilton, Don Howell, Judy LaRue, Le also assistant to director, and John Padgett, Jane Taylor, and Glenn Starner, Tate, excuse me. Join them for a nostalgic stroll down memory lane. Do you remember when you were a kid listening to the radio and they have things like the Lone Ranger on? Yeah. And, yeah. yeah. I, was... I still I still listen now on Sirius XM. Oh, in do the you? car when we're traveling. Oh, cool. Yeah, you yeah. turn in the, the radio uh, shows, the, yeah, the old-time yeah. radio shows. It's really kind of neat. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. Who knows what evil lurks, lurks in the hearts, hearts of, men. of men. The shadow, shadow knows. knows. <laughs> Ah, oh, dang. We're pretty old, aren't we? <laughs> oh, please. The Chatham Marconi Maritime Center, though not open full-time, is accommodating visits by appointment. They enjoy hosting members and visitors who are perhaps unable to visit during the regular season and will do their best to accommodate your schedule. But please be aware that they are still performing exhibit updates and maintenance during April with a reduced staff allows several days' notice so that they may arrange to open the museum for you, your family, or small group. See the progress on their newest exhibit, Chatham Heard Round the World. Call 508-945-8889 or email info at chathammarconi.org to arrange your visit. All right. Well, they are also getting ready for their summer science courses. Uh, these are for children. Uh, they are offering several one-week courses this year on a variety of topics, including robotics, astronomy, shark biology, chemistry, and coding. Most courses will be held at their STEM Education Center at 831 Orleans Road in North Chatham. For more information or to register, see their website, chathammarconi.org, summer STEM. The Atwood House and Museum continues its Sunday lecture series in April with speaker Chris McCourt and the untold stories of the pirate ship Witta. Diver, adventurer, and underwater field archaeologist Chris McCourt describes his fascinating discoveries while exploring the Witta pirate ship. The ship was found in the early 1980s off the coast of Wellfleet. Since then, Barry Clifford and his team have been combing this area for items lost at sea. This lecture begins at 2 on April 15th. Seats are limited and on sale at the event. Be sure to come early to be guaranteed a seat. Hmm. That should be interesting. Yeah, I like that archaeology yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. The Lower Cape Job Fair will take place on Thursday, April 5th from 2.30 to 6 at the Monomoy Regional High School. Do you need full-time, part-time, or seasonal help? Job fair mm -hmm. attendees are both students and adults. Become an exhibitor at the Monomoy Job Fair for free. Registration forms are available at the Chatham and Harwich Chambers of Commerce, or contact them directly to have a form emailed to you. You can email lisa at chathaminfo.com or cindy, C-Y-N-D-I, at harwichcc.com. One last but important item. On Saturday, April 7th, the Lower Cape Home and Garden Show will be held at Cape Cod Regional Technical High School from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. The annual Lower Cape Home and Garden Show will showcase the latest and greatest products and services for residents 
and the second homeowner available from local businesses. This year's featured speaker is Master Gardener Ant Firth. Well, that wraps it up for this time. We hope you've enjoyed this episode of Chatham Today. Remember, the show runs on Public Access Channel 99 several times during the week. If you miss the cable cast or want to see it again, you can find us on Facebook and YouTube, or you can visit our website. Just do a Google search for site slash Chatham Today. It should be the first entry you see. The web address is on the screen now. Chatham Today is a video chronicle of the events and activities in the town of Chatham. If you would like to have what's happening in your organization announced on the air, please email us. We look forward to hearing from you. And you can also like us on Facebook at Chatham Today. And we certainly hope you do. Thank you for watching. We'll see you down the road. road.